and this is my channel, Bloom for Life. Thank you for tuning in for new and old followers. Um, I don't usually create a lot of video content, but I hope to change that in the future. Excuse my voice because I've been trying to get over a sickness for the past week and then, you know, stress on top of stress sometimes doesn't help that. So this video is devoted to explaining how my partner and I got scammed out of close to $14,000 and how that's kind of derailed our plans not kind of, how it has derailed our plans, and also the process of forgiving and moving on. Now, this might seem like a really odd video to make, but I feel like it's essential just because authenticity is lacking in this world, and um, this experiment, or this, this experience <clears throat> more than anything has taught me that, you know, I'm giving too much attention to the things that don't matter versus the things that really do and the number one thing I can contribute to this world at the very least is honest dialogue and just honesty about the journey in general. So I'm going to take you back to the beginning. In August of 2017, uh, my partner Aaron and I talked about investing in Bitcoin, you know, cryptocurrency craze and all that. Well, we were in it and um, it seemed to be going pretty well. We we bought quite a bit of Bitcoin, actually. We, I invested my entire savings, which, first of all, I'm not bashing on Bitcoin. I think cryptocurrencies are the future, but we got in trouble investing through the wrong company, and that was our fault. And I'm not laying blame on anybody because, you know, even after two months of research, um, we chose to do what we did. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, someone named... Actually, I'm going to leave his name out of it. Someone contacted us, uh, claiming he's a doctor who's also an affiliate trader of Bitcoin through the platform Adis Fortress. And, you know, like I said, we talked to him for two months. I researched um, the idea of what he was proposing, which essentially was peer-to-peer -peer trading market that you put in a certain amount, you get a certain amount of... Um, return per month and you, know, you can just reinvest it and so you're staying invested in cryptocurrencies and unless you really need it you can just keep it there so it sounded really good um it was a way to make money work for us and i'm someone who loves people like tony robbins so i'm like ah this is my chance to invest okay i can do this and um <clears throat> aaron and i talked about it extensively and we decided that it was it was worth the risk and um we signed all the paperwork and the contract. I knew ahead of time that there was a one Bitcoin membership fee, but I never said when it was, and um, we'll get more into that later. And anytime I asked, he never really answered that question of when it would be. And I was like, okay, well, I guess we'll just kind of go with it. And again, I'm not excusing myself. I, I was being naive, obviously. Um, one of my faults is wanting to believe the best in the world, so. Anyway, so we invested a total of $16,196, I think, and that was in Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Ethereum. Transferred it to ATIS, <clears throat> everything was looking good. I'll show you the screenshots of, like, what the account looks like most recent. So everything was fine. Last month we withdrew about 4000 because uh, I've been working as a freelance writer for the past 5-6 years and I was normally making really really good money. Enough to keep us going like if we wanted to continue with our trip around the USA. No problem. I could do it. You know, like we, we could take care of it. Um, but the war on fake news has just demolished the reach through Facebook, which is the main social media platform that a lot of publishers use. And so my work has been dwindling. I don't really have a lot of work right now. And um, that's why we were going to start relying more on the investment. Say, okay, we'll, we'll drop a, you know, a couple thousand per month just to keep us on the road and we'll make this U.S. road trip. And in November, when legislation passes or doesn't in South Dakota, that's when we'll either stay in Colorado or we'll stay in South Dakota. So everything's good, right? 
we were able to withdraw 4000 after trader fees, it was like 3500 Um Cool, you know, I thought, okay, this is legit. If we were able to withdraw our money, that's a good sign that everything's okay. So we went about our renovations, spending money, because we're like, okay, we'll be able to uh, essentially pay everything back. And then this last month, <laughs> um, we were going to have a hefty withdrawal to cover some of the, re the repairs to the camper. And one day after it was supposed to be deposited, I tried to contact Steven and his Facebook account was uh, just gone. I was like, uh-oh, red flag. Uh, fortunately, I had an email address and I contacted him and he said that the account had been frozen because we hadn't paid our one Bitcoin membership fee. Well, right now, one Bitcoin is worth about $11,000. So I said, okay, well, can you withdraw from the Ada's Fortress account? Again, like, we should have enough money in there. And um, he said, no, that's not how it works, and it's for tax remittances. And it went through this whole thing, and I was just about to pull out a loan to pay off this one Bitcoin fee, but there was too many red flags. So I was like, you know what, I need to reinvestigate this, this company. Well, lo and behold, the more I put into it, I realized that None of the numbers in the company work. I looked into the Alexa rating score, and it's under 20. Um, there's less. There's like three backlinks, and they're probably from our website. You know, it's really stupid. And Steve, ugh, Steven, he doesn't exist on the internet other than our communication through email. So I was upfront and straight about it. Plus, the contract says that the one Bitcoin fee is not to be used for tax purposes at all. <clears throat> so I called him on this, and he disappeared for a while, tried to talk to another Bitcoin trader who was with the uh, ADIS, received a very generic response, no follow-up as well. So at this point, we're <clears throat> basically uh, resigned to the fact that we entered into a scam. And I know there are some people who warned us about that, and I do thank you. I thank you for your insight and... You know, at the time, it felt like it was worth it. It felt like it was a worthwhile risk. Um, and obviously, we were proven wrong. So, long story short, that's how we lost. Um, yeah, I guess, <clears throat> pull out 3500 with interest, 16000 whatever. You know, thirteen, fourteen thousand dollars 14000 And um, that was our entire savings. So, we're kind of in a rough spot right now. And I'm not creating this video for condolences or I mean, you know, for people to say I'm sorry and uh, pity us because we're very capable people and we have a plan. And that's the second part of this. But first, I want to read some notes that I came, I wrote down last night. Okay. So I was having kind of a hard time going through this, and it's really cold out here, by the way. Yesterday, um, Aaron and I just kind of decompressed. We're like, well, this is kind of like a nuclear bomb being dropped on us. You know, it's put us in a really compromised situation. Um, but fortunately, we're adaptable. So we just took the day to kind of sit, decompress, and cope. You know, because I personally believe that you can't move through something until you totally feel it and are in it. <clears throat> and, um... Very emotional, but channeling and writing, and you know, one of the questions I asked myself is, how am I letting myself down? Because I felt like a failure. I felt like I made such a mistake, and I let my family down. I, um, you know, I let you guys down, because I know there are a lot of people who are looking forward to... people who were looking forward to kind of watching our journey and um, you know that's all ego it's all ego <laughs> wanting to please people and um, show a glamorous lifestyle and <coughs> be successful up the road and um, yeah so my question was how am I letting myself down? Not how am I letting other people down? And that answer was, by not loving enough. 
And my response to that was, with the size of my heart it feels as if it's gonna break me. How do you live in this world? <laughs> See so much struggle. How do you know there are people who can barely afford food? <laughs> How do you accept that there are corrupt politicians? <laughs> They're just people of power. How do you accept that the majority of the populace is screwing each other over just to try and survive? And the answer is love. You love through it. You see why other people are suffering. <sighs> Excuse me. You recognize that other people are human. And you recognize their humanness. And you accept their flaws. And you love them regardless. Hi guys, I just wanted to complete this video because my battery So, in summary, we lost the money, but dwelling on it only hurts us. It doesn't affect the other people who are involved. So, we are picking ourselves up. We are moving to Colorado. We will be living in our camper trailer, which we just are in the process of renovating. Uh, we won't be adding solar just yet, but uh, the idea is to start working in the industries that we love and this fall start going back to university and get more education. So if you or someone you know has been the victim of phishing or identity theft or scam, I really am sorry. It sucks. It sucks. But it's not going to be the end of the world. Don't let it hold you back. And most importantly, don't let it destroy you from the inside out. Money is just money. It's energy. You will attract more. You will earn more. And I hope that, more, most importantly, this video serves as a warning to others who want to get involved with cryptocurrency trading companies. I'm just, I'm not saying all are bad, but be wary. And, you know, any opportunity that promises you something for a little to no work. You know, I felt off about that in the beginning, but now it's just confirmed that you get what you give, and this was just a big learning lesson for us. So, thank you for listening. Um, I'd really appreciate it if you could share this video to raise awareness about this company that I don't think people should work with. Also, <clears throat> um, hopefully to educate others on just in general like how they might be able to overcome and move on from situations such as this and finally to inspire those who might be harboring hate against those who have wronged them please remember that <clears throat> they're human and right now there's a bigger problem going on there's a small small amount of people who are in control of the majority of the world's wealth and so much is being suppressed from humans, um, resources are scarce because that's how the system is set up, and essentially the suffering that is prevalent doesn't have to be that way. Together we can change it, and the best way to do that is just to, you know, cliche as it might be, be the change you want to see in the world. So that's what we're going to do, and I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Namaste.